Welcome to another Arkansas Wall Man Survival. Today I'm testing out a mailbox rocket stove or mailbox uh, hot tent stove. And uh, I just took a, a deal off an old smoker and I got a grate in there to put my wood. And we're going to fire this baby up and see how she works. Get me some uh, <coughs> stuff ready in here. I got some birch bark, but I don't think I want to need it. I may add it to it. My little scraper thing just won't scrape anymore. I don't know what. I guess I wore it out. <laughs> but, uh, What are you doing out, little girl? Hmm? Mm, I guess I'll put this over here where you can see what I'm doing. do-it-yourself hot tent stove from a mailbox. Now, no, I, I'm not the first one that thought of this idea. I've seen videos on it. But uh, a lot of them use dryer vents. And I just used what I had. And that was an old piece of a smoker. The smoke uh, stack of a smoker. And uh, I did it that way. Very few tools was used to make it. That I'm uh, anxious to, of course, burn all the all the stuff off of it, and uh, you can see it's working just fine. It would make a good hot tent, and you got a hole down there. For your air to come up where the little uh, flag was. So, yeah, pretty neat. And you got your little grate up there for your wood to set on. And you can cook on this, make your coffee, heat your tent or shelter if you know. How'd you go to knock that off, turkey? But you do want to, if it's galvanized, you want to get that, burn that stuff off of it before you ever cook on it or use it that way. I 
But that is wild man's mailbox stove. But yeah, you want to melt that, melt that old stuff off of there. The galvanized stuff. Before you ever cook on it, and the wind's blowing that way, so I'm not in the wind. I just wanted to see how well it would work. Pretty cool, I think. God bless you, and as always, thanks for watching. Arkansas Wild Man Survival.